Hi, yeah, my name is Matt Cole and I'm the Visual Communications Manager here at Simon Dacon. I'm just going to give you a quick run through on scheduling and then how to apply simple scheduling with inside Design Studio. One of the goals with digital signage is to make the content relevant, timely and place specific. And this is made a lot easier by use of scheduling. First off, managing your system becomes a whole lot easier with scheduling. It means you can manage your content well in advance of when it's going to be playing. It also helps in terms of making sure the content is relevant to the environment it is sitting. I mean, for example, in a contact centre, why not play corporate communications on your digital signs until the first agent logs in, and then take that as a trigger to start playing full statistics. Another example, in a hotel, the content playing on your digital signs could be completely different at peak times or in the evening. Also, maximise your meeting room door displays by displaying property promotions whilst meetings aren't taking place. The simplest trigger for scheduling is obviously time, and I want to quickly show you in Design Studio how easy that is to do. So we've got our layout down here, let's start with the day layout. And you see in the day layout I've got two areas, I've got content area 1, content area 2. Now if we double click on content area 1, we'll see the playlist that's playing with inside that area. So here I've got three messages, and from this big green bar for each of them, you know that they're always scheduled. Okay. You can just hover over and there it appears. Now to make some scheduling for one of these messages what we need to do is we need to remove that always scheduled. So let's uh, select content message 2 and you'll see down here I get the properties for that selection. One of the items down here is always scheduled so if we uncheck that you'll see that the uh, big green bar disappears. Now this allows us to click and drag on the timeline and there we go our scheduling box appears. So, if we wanted content message 2 to only display at lunch times, what we would do is we could uh, move our start time up to 12 pm. This is our duration, ending time, bring it down to something like 2 o'clock. Okay, so we've got either daily, weekly, and that means you can pick which particular days you would like this to appear at lunchtime. Monthly, so a certain date on every month, or alternatively, on a certain week, on a certain day of every month. Yearly, great for birthdays uh, for a corporate communication system. Or on a particular date, uh, great if you want to set something up well in advance. We're quite happy for this one to play daily, uh, just at lunchtime from 12 till 2. So if we click OK, what we see is now each of these little ones show that this is playing from 12 p.m. for two hours on a daily basis. OK? So now what we need to do is just right click up here and save. So now that layout is saved with that piece of scheduling in. Now Simon allows you to schedule at different levels of your content. Okay, so what I mean by that is that now we've got some scheduling in this day layout. So we've got that one message that's only playing at lunchtime. But we've also got an evening layout. So we want now the day layout to only play during the day and the evening layout to play obviously overnight. So if we open up our player, what we can do is we can schedule at player level as well. So here we've got our day layout, again both always scheduled, and there we've got our evening layout. So same as before, unclick, click and drag, and then set it up. So we've got from start at 8am um, and finish at 6 Okay, so say if we had slightly different opening hours on a on a Wednesday, what we could do is we could uh, click the weekly uh, tab here, and if we uh, did Monday, Tuesday, and Friday for 8 a.m. till 6 p.m., okay, you'll see these boxes appear just for that particular one. Now we can again click and drag. So on Wednesdays. We start at 8, but we don't finish until 8 in the evening. So again, what we would do, click on weekly, click on Wednesday, go OK, and then you'll see it appear here. So weekly Wednesdays, 8 a.m. for 12 hours. If we go to Tuesday, weekly Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, 8 a.m. for 10 hours. And again, what we need to do, just save our player, and now that's published to the screens. Thanks for taking the time to watch this and I hope it's given you some thought into using the scheduling features uh, on your own signage.